This is Brian, Atlanta Hot Tub Center and Tub Talk 101. And today by popular demand, I am going to review the Solaris Solar Kit, all right? And yeah, I mean, basically what it is, right, is it is a thermal solar uh, kit that basically grabs the sun's energy and uses that sun's energy to heat the water. Now, does this kit make sense in Georgia? Probably not, because energy costs here are pretty inexpensive. But if you were in a more expensive place where energy is more expensive, such as California, this might be perfect for you. I guess first things first, right? If you like this video, please like and subscribe because that helps us reach more people and help them with their hot tubs. All right, so guys, here we go, the Solaris kit. So I wanna talk about a few things here and I'm gonna go ahead and switch the view. All right, so here we go, guys. This is the Solaris kit here. And it comes with just basically everything that you need, right? It comes with the connectors and the tubing and the collector. It comes with a flow valve. It comes with a circ pump. Um, it comes with your controller. So it all kind of comes in a kit. It did not come with this table that I made. So I made this table because I didn't want it to kill the grass. I set this up at a friend's house. I didn't want it to kill the grass. Um, but I wanted to make sure I set it up in a very sunny area too. So he gets a lot of sun down here and the table elevates all of the collectors off of the ground, right? So it really just makes sure that it really harnesses and gets all the sun's energy so I can make sure that it works as efficiently as possible. You know, you'll have to kind of get creative, quite frankly, and figure out how it's going to work in your space. You know, if you've got a mulch bed, that's fine. Or if you're on concrete, that's fine or turf or something like that. But if you're on grass, you may want to get creative and figure out a way to uh, get these cones the sun that they, they need uh, without having to uh, kill the grass or, or, or take up space that you don't want to be taken up. But the way the system works, guys, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Um, you got some tubing that comes out of this side of the hot tub here, and I'll show it to you here in a minute. Um, I went ahead and, uh, ran my tubing through the hot tub itself. I just, you know, it wasn't hard for me to do and, um, it insulates it a little bit better, but you don't have to do that. You could run it completely on the outside, but basically that tubing goes down into a flow valve and you need to make sure you adjust that flow valve correctly. Um, it goes to the overall efficiency of the unit. If the flow valve isn't adjusted correctly and you have too much water or not enough water, it may not work as, as effectively. So you wanna make sure that you do adjust the flow rate per the um, instructions, the, the valve per the instructions. But then basically it comes up into here and it goes through this one, goes through that one, that one, that one, and then really circulates back into the hot tub. That's how this system works, guys, right? And these collectors, these harness the sun's energy, right? Basically, it's a thermal solar collector, right? It's thermal, but it basically grabs the sun, collects it into these, right? Collects it into these, collects it into the tubing that is flowing through here, right? And uh, circulates back into the hot tub. So, you know, look, it's uh, pretty basic, ultimately, right? Not a whole lot to it. You got a circulation pump here. And believe it or not, this circulation pump has plenty of power. That small circulation pump, I kid you not, will will go ahead and push plenty of water for you. You got your controller there. Um, I always suggest anytime you have a controller for an electronic to uh, get it out of the sun, right? It constantly sitting in the sun. It'll just, it'll just eventually cause it to go bad. It's just unwanted wear and tear. So I always say kind of shade it. I would also mention that if you put this system together, the moment you hit the red button, it's gonna come on to, to, to prime um, for about 30 or 45 seconds, then it shuts off. Don't be alarmed, because I was alarmed. I was like, why did it stop? That's because that there's not enough uh, thermal energy. There's not enough energy yet from the sun. So it waits until it has the proper amount uh, of energy from the sun so that the system will work and work correctly. So don't be alarmed. Um, the circulation pump will come back on as needed to circulate that water into the actual hot tub. And I didn't get too fancy with it, you know, um, as you can see, right? That's coming out of the hot tub there. And that's going back into the hot tub. You can see down there at the bottom, there's a thermostat there, right? Just connects to the tubing there. But there's your in and out. Goes out right there into a flow valve, connects to all the collectors, comes out of the collector, 
right? And then back into the hot tub, right? So uh, it's relatively a pretty basic system, you know? Obviously the biggest question here is, does it work? Um, yes, it does. So as I've been using this system, I've noticed uh, through testing and math that it has divided my energy cost on my hot tub in half, right? That's great. Now here in Georgia, again, we don't have expensive power bills. So energy here isn't that expensive. So really electricity here isn't, isn't that expensive. So really doesn't matter. But if you're in California, it would definitely matter, right? Because it's very, very, very expensive there. So if you could divide your hot tubs, you know, electrical bill in half, right? And you could save a hundred bucks a month. I think this would kind of be a no brainer. Now I would suggest this, right? If you're going to put this system together, I would suggest a handyman or a service tech, a hot tub service tech to do it for you. If you're handy, more power to you. Be a little bit patient with these collectors. They take a minute to put together, but once you get them together, you know, good to go, right? But it does take a little bit to kind of get it put together. So again, uh, if you're not handy, I don't know if I would suggest uh, this project for you. You know, I would say hire a, a handyman or a, or a, uh, service tech, but this Solaris kit, that's what it's called. Solaris kit. I'm sure a lot of people have seen it on the internet. Uh, it's been selling for quite a while. Um, it's kind of new, kind of not, it's been out for a little bit, but again, it, it does work. It, it's, it, it's a nice system. You just got to kind of get creative on where you're going to put these, uh, solar collectors here, these, these collectors, right? And now one thing I did have to make, right? Because I had an issue, right? And you're probably thinking the same thing. Like if I use the hot tub, right? Those tubes, they might get knocked out of the hot tub, right? Well, yeah, you're right. So what I made, right, was this little guy here, okay? And uh, I just bought it from the hardware store. And let me set it down real quick. I'm going to pick up some sides of it here. See right here? This connects to my hose, right? And then this piece right here, the black tubing slides inside of this, and I clamp it. And then I just turn on my hose, Obviously, my hose pushes water through the tubing, and then on this side, it pushes it through because the black tube is inside of this, right? So then it pushes it through that to prime it, right? Because you can't have any air in this system. So the moment one of these tubes here pops out of the water, you've got air in the system, and the circulation pump, right, it shuts down. So, because you can't have air in the circ pump, right? So uh, you want to make sure that you have something like this on hand. So when they do get knocked out of place, you can easily prime it back and get it going again. And again, it does. It works great. Like I know that doesn't seem like much, but you can buy all of this right at Home Depot or Lowe's. This part right here is a part. This is a part, right? This is the tubing. I bought it all at Home Depot um, or Lowe's. I can't remember, but I bought it all at one of them. And again, this is just half inch tubing and it's perfect. That black pipe just slides right inside of there. And I just put a clamp over the two pieces to hold them together. And I just prime it anytime that it needs to be primed. But guys, if you're looking for a way to save on your electricity bill and you're paying a lot for the hot tub to keep it running, right? Again, hot tubs here in Georgia, they're 10, 15 bucks a month. But you get out in really, really cold climates or you get out in really, really expensive places that have high energy costs, right? You could be looking at 100 bucks, 150 bucks to run a hot tub. You can send 75 bucks a month. That's a huge savings. And when we talk about like cheaper hot tubs in the industry, I don't like to use cheaper, right? Uh, but they are less expensive, but they don't have as much insulation, right? And the, and the R value isn't very good. Those hot tubs can be a couple hundred bucks, 250, 300 bucks a month to run your electric bill. If you could divide that in half, right? I mean, gosh, that's a no brainer. If you can save $150 a month, let's say, and in just a year, you'd be saving $1,800 by having this system. I mean, $1,800 is, is, is a pretty good savings, right? So you just have to kind of, you got to weigh your pros and cons. You got to do the math. You got to see if this system is worth it to you. If you have any questions on the system and you're going to install one, feel free to put some down in the comments, right? More than happy to help you out or give me a call. I installed this one myself. I know the ins and outs of it. You know, I know the stresses of putting it together, right? So if you need something, give me a call. I'm more than happy to help you. This is Brian Atlanta Hot Tub Center.